Hi, it's Jennifer from Soul Source Tarot, and I am here to do your love reading for you. Typically, my readings are love readings, so I just call them a love reading because it's easier. <laughs> this is for the sign of Sagittarius. Knight of Coins, Taurus, Virgo, Capricorn. This is being patient, solid, and practical. Planning. You may be in a plan the planning mode at this time. Focusing on your future, uh, preparing, preparing for your ships come to come in, preparing for what you've been waiting for. And I see that you guys have been really patient. You have, haven't you? You've had to wait a while. I do. You guys have been waiting for it. And it looks like you've really had to have find the strength to be patient, huh? You have. These two are mirroring each other. You've had to find the strength and the discipline to be patient, okay? It feels as though you've been waiting for a long time. You have, and it feels like now, you know, whatever whatever this is that you've been waiting for, this, it's caused a lot of emotional, mental turmoil. It has. So whatever this is, is, it's caused you some some mental conflict, all right? The emperor reversed is you may have even been angry at times, angry with God, angry with the world, you know, because it feels like there's been, there could have been times where you lost your focus, you lost your concentration while waiting. You know, sometimes when things take forever, you could get angry. So it feels like there's been periods of anger over the time it has taken for whatever you've been waiting for to come. This has been taking forever, and I'm sick of it, and I'm getting pissed. And, you know, that takes, it takes a lot of strength and, uh, and discipline to hold yourself back and keep your head held high. Okay. So I feel like you guys have been through some sort of emotional time in your lives where you've been waiting quite some time for something to come to fruition, for something to arrive. You've been waiting for this arrival, and waiting isn't easy. Try watching a clock, which we've all done. It sucks. And I think you guys have really learned some, some discipline, okay? You've learned some skills through this period of waiting. You have. So we're talking about June, dear God, angel, spirits, and universe. What does Sagittarius need to know for June? They have been waiting. They've been waiting for their ships to come in. They've been waiting for the arrival of something. They've been through some serious hard lessons that have caused them some mental turmoil. But they've gained strength. It's made them stronger. This, these conflicts that have been in your life, this is the strength card, have made you stronger. Okay, so it wasn't in vain, so at least it wasn't in vain, right? Um, you are about to get what you deserve. The Six of Coins next to the Three of Wands. You should be getting some reward in the near future. Whether it's coming in June or not, it's coming. It's in sight, Sagittarius. It is in sight. It's time. It's time for you to get what you deserve. Okay, you've given a lot. You've given a lot to, of yourself. I want to get these out so that I can um, zoom in, but you know it's hard for me not to, to talk. You know, where whatever has happened, the time is now for this change. Okay, whatever has happened that has brought these conflicts to your life, that has brought these power struggles and these hard lessons that made you angry and upset and brought chaos, you have went through some sort of storms, you know, maybe even over the last three years, I don't know, you've went through some stormy weather, and that is what I see, but this was, it, it, what, it happened, all, these, all this shit happened because you had to become stronger, okay, and I feel like now, um... You know, you may have went through periods of feeling defeated and reacted with anger. Okay, that that's, can happen. But I feel like now 
you know, you're starting to wake up. There was a period of time where there was a lack of awareness. There's a lack of awakening. Of they're refusing to wake up, refusing to see. And that was causing the mental conflict. But I feel like now, you know, you are moving forward very quickly. You're starting to wake up. Things are happening. Things are changing very, very quickly. You became stronger through this period. And the strength is moving you forward. I see momentum, okay? You're making momentum in regards to your transformation. You are going through a transformation. Not only are you going through a transformation, you are becoming more spiritually in tune with yourself and with others. It's like you have this inner knowing that you have gained through life experience. Sagittarius, the life, the hardcore life experiences that you have been through have given you the strength and the inner knowing, the, the inner knowledge to progress to a higher spiritual level. I mean, you guys are going through a spiritual transformation. That is what has happened here. It's in, an, and I think I may have said this before in a past reading. It's like a dark night of a soul, you know, where you had to go through all this bullshit to get the diamonds or to get the riches, you know. So I feel like your intuition is spot on, and you are you you are more developed spiritually today than you have than you were three years ago. Put it that way. You are more spiritually developed today than you were a year ago. Your spirit, your intuition is spot on. Okay, it is. There's, there's absolutely no doubt about it. Okay, so keep that in mind. Always follow your intuition because it is absolutely spot on. I can see that with this death card, you have a new beginning. With endings bring new beginnings. And that is what has happened here. One phase of your life, and I think it has to do with the last three years. I don't know where that's coming from. Could be longer, could be less. But for somebody of three years, this phase is over. The phase where all the conflict occurred is, it's either, it's almost over or it's over. Okay, it's ended. You're about to start a brand new journey okay and you're and i have to tell you your intuition knows this already you know what i'm saying you do <coughs> Whew. yeah you guys are about to take the next step you're about to bring balance i think you've been trying to find this balance you've gone through a lot of ups and downs you've gone through some juggling but you've learned flexibility right you have you've learned to be flexible whether you like it or not I want to make sure this is zoomed in. It is good, 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 good. So it appears that, you know, you may have felt, you know, here you are, the Queen of Wands reversed. You may have felt lack of excitement for life, lack of excitement for getting up in the morning. You may have felt like... The world was out to get you at times. You may have felt like very negative, negative Nelly, you know, a negative Nelly feeling like hateful, okay? You may have felt like you couldn't communicate for a period of time, like you needed to go within. You may have just needed to take a time out away from people to deal with the anger that you were feeling of all this uh, mental turmoil and chaos that was like you know, a tumbleweed rolling through your life. It was like one right after another, one right after another, one right after another. And I feel like the month of June is about you taking steps to bring balance back to your life. And that includes following your intuition in every instance. This month, more than any, Listen to your intuition because your intuition is guiding your way. They're guiding that tumbleweed. Follow your intuition and you be the driver of that tumbleweed. You be the wind. You ha your intuition is your leader. Okay? It is. That's your, that is advice for this month. Follow your intuition, Sagittarius. And don't let anger and bitterness 
and lack of focus holds you back because at times you know you can be your own worst enemy and I can see that and I'm and I'm gonna tell you that okay you can if you lose your concentration and you lose your focus and you let anger and chaos control you you have the ability to not let that happen you do you have the ability to regain the focus and take back your power you do but it feels like you have given your away power away by letting the all this the tumbleweed control your your perceptions or whatever your life yes shit happens but it has made you stronger okay so this one just came flying out many of you don't want to be alone you're sick of being alone i don't want to be alone anymore you know that's the nine of pentacles reversed so some of you are really waiting for that one you're waiting for somebody that is going to come rescue you that's what you've been waiting for some of you this is the ten of wands some of you are still carrying around some burdens from this the last three years or four years or whatever it was for you you're still you're still hanging on to the baggage that all that brought the emotions the the energy of what happened when you don't need to carry that shit drop it throw it off the fucking plane you don't need to take that shit with you whatever happened happened now drop it drop it and don't think that the next situation the next three years of your life are going to be like that because your thoughts become things okay i just have to tell you that right here the chariot reversed this is loss of direction lack of discipline loss of will like I said, your thoughts become things. If you continue to think negative in any instance of your life, then that's what you will get. If you think the world is out to get you, then you will keep having things come up that assume, make you think that the world is out to get you. Do you know what I mean? Things will keep happening. This chariot reverse is lack of discipline. You have the power. Again, this is lack of discipline as well. It really is. You have the power to change your thoughts. You have the power to change your life. You have the power to take the lead, to be the boss, to find your mental strength. You have the power to take control of your life at any moment. But it's up to you to make a conscious change, not to bring the past with you. Whatever happened, let that shit go. Throw it off the freaking plane. You're never getting it back. June. Step back and focus. Become aware of where you want to go. Set some goals. This is the Hermit card. Step back and become self-aware of who you are, where you're going, how you can let go of this the past, how you can truly end that cycle, how you can bring closure to that situation where there was so much confusion and loneliness. I feel like you've been through a period of loneliness. I mean, for lack of a better word. And you need to be able to close that cycle and feel grateful for that alone time. And I, and I know that's hard to fathom, but that alone time made you stronger. It built your character. It made you into who you are today. And now you are a spiritual warrior. And that is what I see. You are a gift to the universe. Sagittarius, you are. The world card reversed is, you know, emptiness. That, again, I mean, it, the closure is still needed. Close that door to the past. Just close it. Just close it. It's time to move on. So for June, for Sagittarius, let's give him a little bit of advice, more advice. What uh, Advice, please. Advice. Advice. Step back and focus. Let it end. End. Let something, something needs to end. It's time to restore control. Take back control of your life. Look at things from a new perspective. This is your advice. You're only betraying yourself 
You're hurting yourself by not being grateful for all, by not being grateful. You're hurting yourself by not being grateful for all the bullshit. It made you, it built your character. It made you into who you are. It gave you intuition. It let it, it, it started your spiritual journey. It There was so many good things and all that bullshit. There really was. And now it's time for you to look at this as a time of freedom. I'm free. The storm is over. I can restore the control back to my life now. And look at things from a new perspective. Be objective about my future. You've gained wisdom through hardship. In, in June... It's about dealing with those memories. It's about, it, it's about releasing those memories. You know, they were hard. You felt betrayed. You got hurt. You didn't feel loved. You felt alone. And now you have to let that go. You have to free yourself from those memories, those negative memories. And don't say you can't do that. It's mind over matter. It is mind over matter. You know, there's been, you know, a loss. And I'm going to tell you this story. If you say to me, oh, no, I can't. I can't. I can't free myself from those memories. Yeah, the memories are already, always be there, but you have the ability to look at things from a new perspective and to be happy about your future. If you don't, there will be no relationship growth for you. There will be no new relationships until you change your thoughts. You have to change your thoughts if you're looking for a relationship growth. Plain and simple. If you're looking for a relationship, then you need to change your thoughts. And if you say, oh no, I can't let go of this past hurt. I can't let go of what happened to me. I can't let go of the animosity. I can't let go of the bitterness. I can't let go of, you know, those, uh, where are they? I can't even think of what I said before. You know those, you know where the wind blows, whatever they are. Um, I can't let go. Bullshit. It's mind over matter. I had to bury a child. Can you imagine? Can you imagine them lowering your child who was 16 months old, okay, into the ground? I had to overcome that. And if I can, and I boyfriend on the same day, they died on the same day. If I can overcome that, you can overcome everything that's happened to you. So, you have to look at things through, through a new perspective, through new eyes, through new reality. Be happy. And I'm not happy about what happened, but I understand now, 20 years later, that it happened for a reason. And I'm not bitter. Bitterness leads to stress, and stress kills. So anyway, I feel like you guys have gained a lot of strength. You've become strong. And this is a month of restoring what has been lost. Restoring your thoughts to a better place. Restoring your life to where you want it to be. You know what I mean? Don't let the past animosities or hurts or whatever hold you back. You're only betraying yourself. Be grateful. Be grateful, Sagittarius, this month. And above all, follow your intuition. This is a month of following your intuition. You're going through a transformation. That's all there is to it. You are. So these really aren't turning out to be love readings, as I can see. The last one wasn't either. These are, these are uh, messages about strength. Okay, you have gained strength. A lot of it. Through adversity. 
You you have. You're like a spiritual warrior. That's what I see. But you still, at this point, I don't think you love yourself. You don't love yourself enough. You haven't proven that you're worthy. You haven't. There's no doubt. With the Nine of Pentacles reversed and the Empress reversed, you, don't, you still don't think you're worthy. So there's not going to be any no, re, no new relationship growth, which you really want. There's no relationship growth. There's, there's not. Because you have to be worthy. You have to, you have to know that you're worthy. And don't matter what any of your mother or your father or your sister or your best friend or your husband or your wife or what, your kids or anybody else thinks. You have to know that you are worthy. And when you know that you are worthy, that's when you will get your reward. Anyway, we're going to get one of these. And there it is. Interesting. A father's love. And whenever I get these cards, a mother's love or a father's love, this tells me it stems all the way back to your childhood for some of you. Feeling neglected, feeling um, abandoned. You know, those abandoned, feeling abused, you know. Whenever I see the, a mother's love or a father's love, this has affected you in a great, a big way, of a huge way. It's affected your outlook on the world. Anyway, I'm going to read this card now. A father's love for his son or daughter never dies. The strength gained from such love is often unquantifiable and that it can be tapped into at any time for whatever reason. Whether your father is still here or has passed, a father's love is one of the strongest bonds any of us will ever experience. Even, and I have to tell you, I got, I got goosebumps and chills reading this card big time, big time. Even if your father wasn't in your life, it doesn't mean he didn't love you. It doesn't. You don't know the circumstances. You don't know what happened. You don't know what, and even if he was in your life and he was abused or he abused you. or I mean, I'm just saying there's no excuse, I understand. But there's, there's, you don't know what happened to him. You know, there's a, you have to look at things from everybody's respect, perspective. And forgiveness is the key. Forgiveness is the key. Okay? Once you can forgive, everything else gets better. Anyway, so for June, I feel like this is a time of letting go of the past. You found the strength to overcome, or you're about to find the strength to overcome. I think that you guys are bringing balance and stability back to your life after a period of upheaval. And that is what I have. Talk to you later.